now move on to making a family of number sentences. How do I mean by this? Well, remember we talked about number bonds. If you look at this, we see that there are some boys and some girls and there are a total of eight children. Now, with these three numbers, these are special numbers. With these three numbers, we can make at least four number sentences. By now, you would have learned addition and subtraction. Okay? Remember how I used number bonds to teach you addition? And now I've just taught you use, to use number bonds to do subtraction. So with number bonds, I can actually write out quite a handful of addition and subtraction sentences. Now remember I said that when you have a number bond, okay, this means the whole. Whole means it's a big part. Okay, this is the part, a smaller part, and this one is another small part. The two small parts put together gives you a big part. Correct? So in this case, okay, we have our six, two, six and two, that makes eight. Now how are we going to use these numbers to help us write number sentences? Well, we can think in terms of addition first, okay, since we are very good at addition, right? So here we can say that two small parts make the big part, right? So here we can say 6 plus 2 will give us 8. The two small parts will give us one big part. Okay? Then we can also say, hmm, how about if I switch it, switch it around? It doesn't matter, right? So I can say 2 plus 6 will still give me 8. Okay? 2 plus 6 gives you 8 because both are parts. Part and part equals to whole. Okay? Then next, we will look at hmm, subtraction. Subtraction means you must take the big number minus a small number to give you another small number. So here, we have 8. Take away 6 will give us 2. Now on the other hand, 8 take away 2 will give us 6. Alright? So, how many children are boys? Remember there were two girls? So you take the total number of children, take away the two girls, we get... Okay, let me just write down the additional information here. So these are girls, these are boys, and these are the children. Okay, so we can answer some of those questions there. How many children are boys? So you take the children... Minus girls, right? Children, there are 8. Girls, there are 2. So 8 minus 2 gives us 6. Okay? We have this here. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Next, how many children are girls? Well, if we insist on working on a uh, number sentence, then we can say 8 children. Take away the 6 boys will give me two girls. So 8 minus 6 gives us 2. There I have it. How many children are there all together? You can either take boy plus girls equals to children or girls plus boys equals to children. So it's 2 plus 6 equals to 8 or 6 plus 2 equals to 8. Okay, so all these four sentences make up the family of number sentences. Are you clear? Well, it's okay if you're not clear for now because we're going to go through a few examples and practices. Let's look at the first example, make a family of number sentences. Now, we can see two types of books or two groups of books. The one that is yellow in color, yellow and red, and the other one is blue. Now, if we want to use to make addition sentences, what do we do? We take the two small parts. So, before we work on any of the number sentences, we use our number bonds to help us. Okay? So we have this. Okay? And then, let's see. We have four of the red and yellow books, right? So we have four here. And then three of the blue. And the total gives us seven. Right? So this is our number bonds. If we want to make addition sentences, what do we do? We take the two small parts put together to make a big part. 
So 4 plus 3 equals 7. Okay. Next, we can swap it around, right? Either yellow plus blue or blue plus yellow is the same thing. So here, 3 plus 4 equals to 7. Okay. Then after that, we will have to move on to subtraction. Subtraction is about using the big number, which is a whole. In this case, whole is 7. 7, take away one of the small numbers. It gives us 3. Again, 7, take away the other small number. It gives us 4. So you look at these three numbers, 4, 3 and 7. It is very interesting how we can make so many different sentences out of these three numbers. Right? Are you ready for another example? This time round, we have four red pencils and then we have six green pencils. Okay, so let's put in our number bonds. Okay, the part, four red, so I write four. Six green, I write six here. Total will be ten, right? If you count, there are ten. Okay? So, addition sentence means you take the two small parts to add up to make the big part. So, here will be four plus six gives us ten. Okay? The two small parts add up to make a big part. Okay, then we have six plus four equals ten. Right? Then what about the subtraction? We will use the big number, which is a whole. 10. Then we take out 4. And that gives us 6. Or 10, take away 6, gives us 4. Okay? So this is how we can play around with the numbers 4, 6, and 10. That's why I say that number bonds are very important. So long as you can remember the number bonds, put them in your head, then you'll find that you have no problem.